Nice having you here. In today's uh, video, we're going to be looking at how to actually solve this particular question using our health data and as well create this particular visual. It's something very simple in case you want to learn how to use, you know, our Python to answer questions using any data of your choice. This particular video will definitely help you. So stay tuned and actually join me in the class to look at how we can use Python to solve problems. All right, everyone. So we're going to be working on number seven today on this particular Python for data analysis class. So over here it says for any records with a recorded causes of death, analyze pattern to identify you know, risk factor. So this question looks somehow, but I'm going to show you how to actually solve this particular problem using Python. So go ahead and actually fire up your Python. So I'm using Anaconda. I just go ahead and actually launch Jupyter Notebook. So it's going to bring you over here and navigate to the file, um, the folder we are using. So we're using Python project. So here we have two and three. I'm going to create a new environment for my project. So if you have been following me, I always love to change this particular title to something. So now we are on the hospital project offer. So quickly, I just need to come over here, Markdown, and over here, I'm going to do so reading data from CSV. So now we have reading data from CSV here. So add you know, more cells to work with. And inside here, we are going to actually read data. So quickly, we just import our data using import pandas as pd and we come down right here we just use file underscore part so put an equal sign here so i've done this every time i just love to do it again in case you don't want to go through the first videos so we go over to where you have your data saved in so we're going to copy the part of this particular file so we've copied the part so we come over here we paste this over here Put a, put a single R here. And once you have done that now, we're going to use this particular, you know, DF for data frame. So inside here, what we're going to do right now is going to be equals PD dot read underscore CSV. And uh, we we'll pass in the file underscore part. So if I hit my enter key and I don't have any error, that means this is actually good. So we have just actually, you know, done this. So we're going to be using this particular DF to create this, right? So over here quickly, we do the same thing again. So this is our question. The question number seven says for any records with a recorded cause of death. So which means if there is any record in our data set that has the record of the uh, cause of death, analyze pattern to identify, you know, risk factor so over here here is this so we have a column called cause of death right here if i keep scrolling now you can see we have some bunch of you know blanks where there are no you know records so we only have records when there is death and you can see here the treatment status here is diseased so if i keep going down now diseased and here we have what causes the you know the death of that particular person this is exactly what it is that we have to understand first. The column we're going to be using to get what we want to do done. So coming back over here right now, how do we get started? So first of all, we have to filter records where the cause of death is not empty. So, so to get this done right now, um, we're going to actually create a variable. So we're going to call this one. cause so here our data frame is df so try to remember this here so that is our whole table is stored inside df right here so it's going to be dot drop na so what this particular function is doing is that you're going to drop any uh cells that do not contain any value any reasonable value for us so if it contains blank just go ahead and drop it so we open so we're going to say sub set equals. 
So we're going to actually call the column. We want to evaluate this right on. So and the column name is actually this. So here is it. This is the column name. In case you don't know how I actually got here, I can just go ahead and close and come over here now. So we can go to desktop. Your own file might be in a different environment. If it is in download, just go ahead and go to download. So over here, I'm going to go to where I have my data saved in. Open it up. And here is the CSV. Double click to open it inside Python without you needing to go inside Excel to have it open and see it row by row, column by column in a very neat way. So can you see it now? This is how I got to actually, you know, look at what is going on here. So easily, we are going to actually remove all of those particular blanks. And that is exactly what we have actually done right here. So we have gotten this done. If I go ahead and run this now. So nothing happens. That shows that everything is working fine. So if I just go ahead and do print. So we try to print. So here we have everything being printed out for us, right? We don't need this. So what we need to actually show is something very simple. We're only going to show the count of it, right? So here we just have to remove this part away from here. So we can now say count underscore cause, so equals. So here is a variable we have actually used to store in those particular ones that do not contain any uh, blanks. So we're just going to do dot, I think, sorry, uh, I want to count, yes. So we have to just say, we go into the column. So which is this particular column right here? So we're going to do dot value underscore counts. So no error. So the next thing now we have to do is just to look at how to print this out. So print. So this is what we actually have right now. So we might want to have a proper header right on this. So before this particular print here, we can do print and inside it, we can actually do most common cause of, yes. So we have this right here. So remember, every single time I actually create something like this, I love to actually make sure I am actually, you know, showing this as a chart. So it's something very simple. You might want to come over here right now. Just come over here. So we can come over here now. So here we go into our next cell here and uh, we do the chart. So the chart is something very simple. We just have to make sure we do this. So we just do import matplots library dot py plot as plt. That is all we need to do. So the next thing again is to actually look at what exactly do we want to actually plot. So what we want to plot right now is going to come here. So we're going to say, um, PLT, that is set it, setting the size. In the previous video, I told you I'm going to show you how to set the size of your chart. You understand? So PLT dot figure here, right? So open the bracket, 
or parentheses. So we'll type in fig size. So the fig size now will be uh, equals inside parentheses. So the width 10, then the height should be five. So once we have done this now, we go into the next line. So we're gonna do here, let's go up to make it well understandable. So here is it. This is what helps us to do the counting for us. So you can actually go ahead and copy or you come over here and write it down here. So now we are want to do dot head. So do we need to do that dot head? I think that dot head is not really important. So let's just do dot plot. If you have been following me, you understand this particular part right here. So here B R V A R that is bar. So comma right here. So we set the color. This time around, I don't need to use any color code. I can just straight up set, set my color to red because it has to do with something negative, right? So send it to set it to red and uh, we'll run it. So here we go, we have it. So if you want to see the size, if you want to reduce the size here, let's come over here now and do just seven. So can you see how small it is? So this one now, the height here, we can actually do just three. So you can see how it's shutting it. So we can do two. So can you see this now? Can you see this now? So this is what you actually have right there. So if this is what you want, you can play around with the number to give you exactly what you want. But right now, this particular place is looking a little bit weird for me, right? So what can I do? Let us quickly, uh, some kind of go down here, right? And, uh, add what I call rotation to it. I'm going to show you how to add rotation. So PLT. So we call it dot X ticks, right? So inside parentheses, so double quotes here, we type in, no, no, not double quotes. So we just type in rotation. So we can rotation, we can do the rotation to be some kind of 45. Should I call it degree? I don't know. So 45 degree. Let's see. Oh no, something is wrong. The K is not here. Run again. The error sh should be cleared now. Can you see now? You can make it a little bit slanted like this. But in we have a little space here. Can you see now? This particular space here can actually make it look better. So what if we go ahead and do this to be uh, on 12. So that fills the weight here. This looks a bit better right now. Can you see now? This is how you can manipulate this. So we can actually go ahead and adjust the height to four. So when we do this now, we have something like this. This is making a lot of sense right now. Can you see it now? So you can actually bring in a title, which is something very simple. So this particular part right here, why? Do we have this? So let's quickly go ahead and add title. So plt dot, you know, title. So plt the title, we are going to actually say here, we want to add title to be, uh, let's say top, courses of, so we hit enter key now. Can you see now? It has cleared those particular part. We have lots of, you know, stuff that we don't need of because we just have a title right in here. Can you see? So we might want to use double quotes here. So under double quotes should actually come over here at the closet. Okay. Double quotes works. Single quotes actually works as well. So this is what we just want to do. So in case you're looking forward to like, how can I add the, is it data label? Like the numbers right here. I have my first video or second video in this particular series to actually capture that. It's going to show you how to actually do just that. It's something very simple and actually easy to do. So you might want to check that out.
So this is exactly what we need to do. So if you look at it right now, those are exactly the causes. So like here, multiple organ failure. So you can see this one, this, this right here. So the same thing you start seeing, if you start scrolling down to where you have, you know, disease the right in, you start seeing all of this. So we have just answered the question using Python right now. It's something very, very simple. So I believe this particular, you know, uh, project will help you to achieve what you need to achieve as a data analyst using Python to analyze data. Just try as much as possible to replicate exactly what I have done right now and go into the previous videos and create those ones I have right there for you and wait for the subsequent videos to drop before you actually learn something new. So see you in my next videos.